My side thing is getting married. I know we said no feelings, but it's making me feel some type of way. That's so funny. Yeah, he's coming home, he's kicking off his shoes very far. Right? <laughs> On that day that your side thing is getting married, now your main thing was to chill with you. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to see you today. <laughs> today of all days. <laughs> My girlfriend wants to leave me because I don't allow her to give me head. Honestly, I hate head. Couple problems are so diverse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Decisions, That's man. like a guy who was saying, man, I hate that we can just order food when we want. <laughs> <Nah>. like, <laughs> what don't you guys listen to this food, bro? You guys are so funny. Like bro. this guy, bro. Like, like, <laughs> there's people who haven't even received a hug this year, bro. How do you approach a girl in a relationship? Wh- don't wait, do what? that, man. Nah, don't encourage relax. that type of behavior on the Mob Just podcast. <laughs> but it's a relationship that's abusive and it's about to end. What? And you know this. Call the She's in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. My name is Magic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need to do that thing Every when we time, have guests, bro. man. Here, yeah. only yeah. do that thing when we have guests. Yeah. I don't think we need to do it all the time. We don't do it all the time. This is our first bro pod in uh, a couple of weeks. I feel like. Is it? Yeah, we've been on a guest run, bro. No, wait, wait, wait. when we dropped the Barra story, wasn't it just us? Oh, when was that? That's recent. Hey, it's like that's two weeks ago. Like <laughs> 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 no, you don't. Oh, okay, fair, fair. It feels like forever. Yeah, it does, it does, it, it does. Like we missed, what, a week? Yeah, when I was scheduling this guest, this guest interview, this guest pods, man, I should have put into account the fact that we need, like, if it was up to me, I think we'd have, like, one guest a month. Mm, 12, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I agree, I agree, I agree. Maybe next year. I feel like we're in our best element when we are with Just the three of us. Four of us. Mm-hmm. How are you guys I feeling agree. today, man? Go first. I should go first. Mm. I'm feeling better. Um, the last pod we recorded, I was a bit congested. I was feeling kind of like the seasons were getting to me, man. Um, yeah, but now I'm fully fully recovered, I think. Uh, this flu is kind of tricky, bro. Like, it dips in and dips out, pause, man. Like, Are you taking medicine? Um, is it flu or like... When the symptoms show, I take medicine for them. Cetrizy. But otherwise, I'm not like regularly on it. That's why I think it's like... Just seasonal, like, allergies type thing. Pollen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have a feeling, because uh, I serviced my car last week, the AC was just a bit colder than it was in the past. <laughs> you <laughs> you know, weren't choosing. You know, when you clean the filters, bro, like, the AC is a bit pure. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that played a role as well. But where does the AC come from? Does it come from, like, fans? I've never fully understood how car AC works. Or does it's it blow definitely. from somewhere? Pause. Uh, when the good is going to explain. Uh, okay. There is like water. It works like a refrigerator. Okay. So that's why you, you put in water and then it has a way to make makes it cold so that you can produce that, you know, like that breezy thing, like, you know. Okay, but then how does it get hot immediately when you flip like a thing? That I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Maybe there's some water they call coils. Yeah, yeah, boil water. But like that would take like two minutes. Not to buy, boil the water, <laughs> but just to be like. To pass you the hit air the air, through, yeah. the, hot, the cold air through hot coils. Because I won't lie, that hot AC can choke me, bro. Pause. So the gas that you put you into the car, you know when they say that AC is done? Mm. Mm. That car gas that you put in, what's yeah, that the refrigerator gas? gas as well? Yeah, it's like as the compressor does it for the refrigerator. Yeah, it's so called Freon gas. I have no idea. It's called Freon or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. I don't know. I think I might need to. Someone just explain to us in the comments how, mm-hmm. how AC works. Mm-hmm. It yeah, made sense, but then because when, when they said it's like how a fridge works, I was like, yeah. damn. As in made <laughs> I don't even way. know what a fridge <laughs> does. <laughs> also, I don't think that like the fridges they taught us about in primary school. I don't know if fridges still Ooh. work. No, like that. Coils those like fridges yeah. coil at the back. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. what Windex is thinking of. Is that yeah. the same coil that's like on a windshield? The back windshield. Those blue lines. Those lines. I know those lines are for heating the glass. Yeah. But uh, the coil in the back looks more like a tube than in the back of a mm. fridge. And, and then trying to increase the surface area to make it like trap. There's someone who told me those blue lines were an area when I was a kid. I didn't know how to feel, bro. <laughs> when I feel. I someone also tried yeah. to tell me that at some They sort point. of look like solar panels. The blue lines on the car. Mm. Mm. Like if you check that thing, your radio is not working. I was like, no <laughs> way. <laughs> so here is something which is like, when you turn the AC on, the compressor compresses the system's refrigerant, raising its, pre- uh, its, its pressure and temperature. The refrigerant loses heat as it flows through the condenser. Typically, no, it passes through not the... not made sense to me, I won't lie. So the but refrigerant is maybe that gas you put in. Then the condenser is... Oh, the refrigerant oh yeah, is the gas. gas. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah I think low toxicity gases generally used as refrigerants and as aerosol propellants. Can someone as just do there. like uh, how AC works for idiots? In, in layman, in beginners. The <laughs> and then like, I'll be with you. I'm with you at the moment. I know there's gas involved. I know there's con- condensation, condensation or some shit involved. But but I want to know I how it turns hot and cold. I want to be able to explain it to a yeah. I remember the gas name because it sounds like fridge. Freon. Freon gas. Mm. It sounds like free, bro. And it's not free. It's not free. You have to feel it, man. Anyway, um, yeah, but I'm doing good, man. Uh, having a nice week. I had, a, I'd say, a very restful weekend. I went to Silo for the first time on the weekend, mm-hmm. Friday night. Uh, my boy Paolo and my cousin Mandela were graduating. Shout out to Paolo and Mandela. Um, so the after party was at Silo. It was a vibe, bro. I think I might be Silo. like. I think it might be my favorite place to go out now, bro. I like that it feels big inside there. Like. Exactly. Like, I feel like everyone has space. Mm. Everyone has room. And there's also room to move. There's room to stay and room to move, bro. That mm. is, there's nowhere else almost where that is. Man. I don't have to, like, rub shoulders with guys too much. Unless I go to that Camido thing. Yeah. Which I don't have to go to that middle thing. I can just go around it. Jeez, the bathrooms smell nice, bro. The bathrooms are nice. I mean... Mm. No, the bathrooms are nice. The bathrooms are definitely nice. Um, yeah, man, I really liked Silo. Really, really liked Silo. Bro. I'm definitely going back. Um, so that was Friday night. So I was in the crib. I told you guys that now when, like, I if I have a night out, I recover from it for the rest of the weekend. So Friday, I got home at 3.30. I recovered on Sato and Sunday. Like, my sleep was shit for those two days. Um... Yeah, bro, but we're here now, man. I'm chilling now. How are you? How am I? I'm cool. Um, <clears throat> pretty much the weekend was normal. Friday we're here, we recorded. Uh, we passed by <laughs> Cynthia's new place, Rosa Dimes. Is that the name? Rosa yeah, lovely place, man. Rosa Dimes. Rosa Dimes. Dimes. Rosa Dimes. Dimes. Yeah, Dimes. The white. Redeems would have been great. I'm like, I'm not going to lie. Rosa Redeems. The first time I saw them putting it up was the day when we were doing, when we had come for the pod. Yeah. So I used that word a lot. I swear there was an R. It's at the beginning. Then Rosa. the next time I passed by, it was just, I was like, man, this guy's post has really lost the R in the past one. Redeems. Before it opened. Yeah, to be fair, I also, I also had Rosa, Rosa that's Rosa. what I had. Rosario, I think, was a place that was Rosa there before. Mm, Rosa Ho. Yeah. Rosa Ho. Ah, okay, Rosa Ho. Okay, okay. Rosa Ho. called Rosa, Rosa Dimes. Mm. Rosa Dimes. Okay, how does But it looks nice, man. Mm. It looks nice. Has like a wraith ceiling. Yeah. Finally, I've seen yeah. the snaps. Looks nice. After that, went to Terrace for a bit. Went to Silo, met you. Yes, we yeah. met, bro. Good yeah, times, did, good did, times, did, good did. times. Yeah, man. Yeah. I was tired. Bruh, you guys look exhausted, bro. Other guys were having a blast, man. Were you there when my when my cousins and my sisters came? No, no, no. I had already left. Guys pulled up at like three, bro. Nah. And then I they left were at like, still two. like they were still going. I was just like, guys, I can't do this with you. I, I left at like two. two. Uh-huh. But yeah, then the rest of my weekend was no more. I remember there was Buddha League at like eight PM on Sunday, bro. Weird. Second pod, in, second pod in a row. But I didn't that go. Yes. No jazz, I not go. go. I <laughs> didn't remember. I honestly <laughs> didn't remember. I was, I was a creep that entire Sunday. Why did text me, man? I've just remembered. Budoli. There's Budoli. You know, I wanted to text you, but you I was know. like, this is pointless. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, this is point <laughs> jazz. <laughs> I was in well, the like, crib the whole of Sunday by myself. Oh. My family went to like one of my uncle's houses in Ebbs. I just stayed in the crib the whole day, bro. Budoli. In bed. Would only pass me like that. Bro, me, I, I honestly remember that like it was like, should I tell Marvin? I was like, it's 8 p.m., bro. So, yeah. And then yesterday I went to gym. I saw. First time in forever. My entire body is sore. Pause. But like, ah. I tried to do like a care under 10 minutes, which I did, 9 and 20. But you guy, I almost I died. I in a kilometer. Hmm? Okay, as in a kilometer. Yeah. In under ten minutes. Yeah. Because that's how I know if my if my knee is still functioning. I did it in nine and <laughs> twenty. Yeah, so onwards and upwards, but my entire body is in pain, bro. Except like I your can't knee. 
<laughs> nah, my knees kawa. Since you have, uh, since you have uh, like an Apple Watch, can't you just like as if like track that key and run it outside? Outside way, probably on could. the ground. Hell no, nah. treadmills have elevation. I cannot just that. And Kampala <laughs> let me, has st- heels, let me start bro. from a controlled that thing environment. Feels different. I cannot show Kampala you. Kampala has heels, man. Yeah, but let me start from a controlled Real environment. Real life key. <laughs> <laughs> Kampala key. It feels different. No, no, no. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I want to do it, but after like a week, bro. So probably next week I'll try. I'll try running from home to the gym. But that's like that's like five k, bro. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Never know. Never know. Okay. But I, I woke up today and I could not move. Yeah. But here we are. We are alive, man. So our best. So our best. Okay. Do your do your legs itch when you run? Like now, since you've not been rush, running for a while. Like when you first start and you, there's that cash. I, I get, I get no, what you're saying. If you like, after you've run for a while, do you guys legs itch? Mine itch when like. That car first motion, yeah, that car same. first. It's, it's like the first two minutes yeah, of running. First, like the first, that, there's that tingling thing that you have to first kind of like stamp mm, your feet out. Mm. Your th- I'm not talking about just my feet though. I mean my whole leg. Yeah, so like, like you feel I'll be itchy. Mm, but when man. I stomp the foot, it mm. goes out. Like I get what you're saying. And for me, it only happens now when I've like, when I've now begun to exert the muscle. That's when it will start to mm. itch. Like, uh, what is that? Is that like lymphatic acid? It must be a nerve thing. Because that, 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 that doesn't seem like a muscle thing to me. But I'm glad it's not just me, man. It's not I'm not having nerve damage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go ahead. Let me find out why. Um, but that thing doesn't feel nice, bro. Okay, you can eat <laughs> and <laughs> and you can't scratch it. It's underneath the skin. <laughs> now, just have do to you know wait for it to when you've just finished jogging, eh? And you close your eyes and there are those things that are running in the black space. The stars. Yeah. That that jazz is mob, bro. <laughs> I almost died from that jazz. Like when you close your eyes and look at the sun and you see like <laughs> colors here and red. <laughs> <laughs> or like uh, buwams passing they're like <laughs> bulimes <laughs> <laughs> no. okay we'll apparently it's our capillaries and arteries expanding to accommodate the amount of blood moving through our body in others we're and not that fit. process stimulates the surrounding nerve cells and sends a signal to your brain so I guess that's what makes you you think it's, it's others are like not fit yeah, I guess Bro. if you're a regular runner, you didn't. Yeah, you your should just circulate yeah. normally. Anyway, uh, red flag. Uchibi, how are you, man? How's your weekend? Both good. <laughs> how did you get it? Okay, it's like one nine. How did you get it? Cap, cap, cap. Today did some stuff. So Friday we were here. We recorded an episode. Afterwards, um, it was of course Paul singing live. Um. I sang a song, Hey Soul Sister, shout out uh, Train. Then, after that... You have that range, bro. Your song choices, you have range. Thank you, thank you. You have range in your song choices. Thank you. I actually should reflect in my Spotify like songs, bro. A range. Yeah, yeah. and your, no, in the music <laughs> that you listen to today... <laughs> it's no range. <laughs> you don't have range, but like, your upbringing... The man that you I'm on a solid foundation. Man, solid yeah. foundation that I'm standing yeah. on musically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was fun. Killed it, you know me. Um, after I went to Rosa Dimes, it was good, um, it was fun. Then after that, that night I went up country for a bit, came back the next day. You went that night? What was that the previous night, previous weekend? No, I think it was mm. the previous weekend. When There's a way you left in the morning, bro. Oh, That's huh? relax. You left the next day? No, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad, my yeah, bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was last weekend's jazz when I said that was good. Um, then um, after that, I went home, slept. The next day, I went to Ginger. It was my friend's birthday. That was a good time, man. I didn't uh-huh. do any activities, but I got to watch activities being done. Sliding the Nile. I saw Pujagali Falls. Though. You kind of did. Boat ride. Yeah, yeah the boat thing. That counts. I mean, the boat ride is how we get to the slide, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that counts. But it counts. It still counts. It still counts. <laughs> Hey, took the okay. boat ride. Yeah. <laughs> That's like saying the car ride to Ginger counts as an activity, yeah. road trip. Um, yeah, so it that was fun. I does. want to go back. They have this thing called water massage for 20k that I want to try out. What, is, what does it do? Sounds crazy, right? But basically, it's just um, they take you to this waterfall, then the waterfall pours on you. So the water is massaging you. <laughs> 20 I'm, not 
<laughs> 20 bob to stand and <laughs> 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 you know, you know, you know, yeah, pay 20 bob for him to take you to where it is you go <laughs> Okay. Okay. How, How long can I stay at the waterfall? Because <laughs> no, no, it's a trample. <laughs> so let's say <laughs> magic pays twenty bob. Then I just follow them there. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> not if I get there. Yeah, yeah, your car. Like just yeah, yeah. It's, I, I don't think he has the title myself. for the waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, is there a time limit? The location. How oh. long can I be there? I don't know. I guess I don't know. Because if water is massaging me, it better. So it's like a public place, huh? I I don't know. But it's just a waterfall somewhere in Jinja. Yeah, because you're only night. paying for someone to take you I there. I imagine that's what I'm paying for, to be taken there and brought but back. But do they bring you back? Okay, yeah, so. they bring you back. Yeah. That's not yeah. really but cool. But let me ask some. <laughs> like a cool big idea. <laughs> let me ask you some. Like, you know how it's a river, right? So, like, stuff should be moving on that water. So if you're getting water massaged and like a log just embeds <laughs> 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 itself in your head, first you embed floats down the down the waterfall onto you, bro. Like, do you have do you have sign like a wave? Like, I don't know. I didn't get that. You're idea. paying for oh the no. trip, not the experience. Two it different. That sounded like something that like rastas do, bro. They go and sit under the water and meditate, and, they, yeah. and sing like mm. education. No. <laughs> Education. I'm not paying for that one. Hesitation. I'm not paying for that. Like that bro. That's like my dream, bro. That's my dream. I mean, like a like red and green and yellow shirt. They have to give me yeah. some floating like, food. Give me some. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 food. No, like, and I'm like cross legged sitting under there meditating. Which is like, it's like a heavy, powerful waterfall, like a big one, but I'm just yeah. there, like a stone. You're in zen. Shh. It can't do anything. I'm one with me. That, that's what I'm thinking. If it's like a freaking stream, which is like over the water and blows out of it before it reaches down, the wind blows out of it. Have you seen like so ghost? The side was 80 bob. Then you go as many times as you like. Eh? Yeah. Damn. I don't know. That slide looks dangerous to me, man. No, it's not dangerous at all. It's not dangerous at all. <laughs> I knew this day would come. <laughs> I just knew this day would come. You know, these pups have been in here for the last three weeks. Every time they come in, I'm like, bro, if Yasmin was here, <laughs> she would be on that table. <laughs> Look at her <that> now. <laughs> and there's two. And yeah. a kitten. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, uh, um, yeah. What does they do the weekend? Uh, yeah, that's that's the notable stuff. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Um, okay, before we go on, uh, quick reminder to hit subscribe and like and subscribe to Patreon. Notification bell. Subscribe to our Patreon. Seventeen bob a month. Maybe Half a cocktail. That, mm. that dollar rate keeps changing. Mm. But no, like but 17 bob like a month right around right there. It's still half a cocktail, doesn't matter. Mm. 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 I saw some really kind things being said in the questions that we have for today, man, about the Patreon. So I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, man. Also, someone was complaining to me that we've been giving them, like, old episodes. Not complaining, but just saying that some of the episodes we've been giving them are old. Um, yeah, you won't have that problem on Patreon. Uh, mm, good answer. What else, man? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah. So let's uh, let's discuss what we have to discuss today, man. What topics do you guys have? El Cole. El Cole. That's his new name. How? <laughs> because he didn't just respond. you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> 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 no. Okay. How's it been, chill, El Cole? Did you hear Drake's new diss track? Yep. Yeah. Uh, which one? Taylor made. Taylor made. Yeah. The Taylor made freestyle. Yeah, no, this, this is not rap beef, bro. Like, this is what you expect. Like, some out of pocket, crazy jazz, like, so, like, not re- uh, apologizing on, on your own stage for a song you wrote with us when you were, you know, not under the risk. But I'll say this Taylor made freestyle. I think for me personally, it's one of my most enjoyable, more enjoyable Drake songs in a while. Like, I, I, I just enjoy it. Um, I, I love found this guy playing that song on repeat <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. Like Why? On loop. <laughs> he knows the words, bro. <laughs> like That's how much he's listened to. That song makes me He came out on laugh. Sunday morning. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> and he knows all the words. That song just makes Why, me bro? laugh, bro. Like, like, okay, let me start from the beginning of why it makes me laugh. Like, Drake is just so fucking funny, bro. Drake is a troll. Drake is like in high school, the high school kid who like roasts you 
yeah. and everyone laughs at you for the whole same the whole year bro like, and, like <laughs> that's what he was doing he was not like okay so of course like Drake called out other Kendrick called out all these guys on some like there's no big three it's just big me I'm the biggest rapper blah 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 Drake came back with like some bro you're calling yourself big stepper but you are size seven men's um the spirit of Machiavelli. Okay, that that was now in the in the Taylor made fist where he came with the Tupac voice, and Tupac used to call himself Machiavelli. He's like, man, they told me the spirit of Machiavelli is alive, and the brother under five foot five, so it gotta be you. So like stuff <laughs> like that, bro. Like he just keeps like adding on and on and on. I just can't stop listening to that song. Like it's just hilarious. Like it's fundamentally funny to me. So I've enjoyed this Drake song so much, bro. Like. It's so creative. It's something we've never seen before. And not even that that even matters, but on top of that, it's just a good song. I prefer it to push-ups, by far. Like, by far. Okay, push-ups has some good lines, like the seven size seven men's was from push-ups. But this song just sounds like perfect. Bro. First of all, the AI they used was amazing. Of course, Drake has the access to the best AI on earth. Okay, the Tupac one didn't sound the greatest, but that Snoop Dogg one, bro. That thing, nephew, from there, I was just like, whoa. It's too accurate. Yeah, so shout out Drake, bro. Like, he has really, I mean, Kendrick, like Charlamagne said, man, he's on the clock, bro. He's on the clock. He better respond. Because this is his first real rap beef in his whole career, bro. His whole stainless career, bro. He has a Pulitzer Prize, never misses, but he has never won a rap beef before. So he better win this one. Otherwise, he's going to have like a small car scratch on his medal, bro. A small scratch, Drake's a Drake size shaped scratch on his car. Perfect record, bro. So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see this. In fact, if anything, I have questions for you guys. Most, more, more, more him than you, cause you're, you're not a big hip hop head. But like, I'm thinking when, as a Drake, cause I'm sure you also listen to Kendrick and Drake, and you like yeah, them. Yeah, definitely a fan of both. Yeah. Who like, how does it make you feel, man? <laughs> you guys listen like your top two. How how does this make you all feel? Do you do you feel like this is allowed and who do you want to win okay who don't you want to lose i think that's a better question <laughs> i don't think anyone can lose in this thing really bro kendrick can but lose strangely now for me kendrick can lose i feel like kendrick losing would make more sense than drake losing yeah i agree just because of the the way in which it's being fought and the times that we are in, this nigga Drake, he thrives in these times, bro. Like, but that's not to say that Kendrick can't do anything. No one said to, like, that. Like, sway the, sway the momentum back in his favor. No one said that. But I think it will be really interesting, bro. These guys' styles are completely different. None of their two, two like, this is going to be the same even type of this. Mm. It's going to be fun to watch, bro. But for me, like, there's something else that's a bit interesting, bro, that, like, that I'm not just about this beef. And I, I got some of this just from Joe Biden. How they done the Biden podcast. Yeah. It gotta be true. That's another <laughs> thing that he killed me, bro. I got, I, I got this jazz. I listened to this podcast on Fryo before the song dropped. And these guys were saying that they suspect that it might be, like, a uh, that this rap beef and by Fryo, there were a bunch of Kendrick responses that had been the AI there, thing. Yeah, the AI posts. And these guys were saying that they think that like the labels are trying to use this beef to like flagship the label AIs, right? And they're trying to do it through this beef. So all these like Kendrick samples are either Drake trying to eight mile the situation as in rap all of the things that Kendrick could possibly rap about him using Kendrick's voice so that Kendrick can't rap them anymore using his actual voice or Kendrick is throwing out verses and seeing which one slaps which one sticks you know what I mean and then on Sunday this nigga Drake puts out a diss song using AI you know what I mean and makes it almost palatable and shows guys that listen, man, don't fear this AI. I think we can Passive use it. Almost cool. makes it palatable, super palatable right? Because everyone thinks, oh, this is funny, this is cool. But if you look back at like the past year and a half, this AI shit has been rolled out terribly. They first tried with that AI rapper who was ass. 
What about uh, that, that Spotify guy? There was like an AI like. Yeah, rapper. They tried to roll out one of these big labels. Tried to roll out an AI yeah, rapper, and they like oh the robot out, guy yeah, with a white hair. He was robot. in prison. Over they were beating him. Oh, it was fun. It was really like nasty, bro. Nasty rollout. And then Timbaland tried to roll it out with over. I've always wanted a Biggie verse. Now I've made this beat, and now Biggie can rap to it using mm. AI. No one, no one ate it. But now they have the biggest rappers in the world, and one of them is using AI. And now they can use AI in that way. And you know Drake, bro, that nigga's a genius, bro. He'll make, he can make anything cool. And a guy did that. <coughs> so it's a bit like, mm, I don't know. Like, is it, is something says there's a bizo in it which makes it feel kind of manipulative. But like, as far as the song goes, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the song. I'm not going to have it like in my regular rotation or anything. But it was like a very Drake-esque, this song. Yeah, but, but there's an AI aspect in, in all of this, man. I don't think you can have it. I, I don't think it's like out yet, out, out. It's more like a leak. Yeah. But hey. That's what you did with the first one. Shout out that guy. I've been listening to the, the first one on DSPs. Mm. Push ups. Mm. Sounds different. He changed the few lyrics over. I had changed that. the beat. Changed the lyrics. Changed the beat sounds very different. Mm. Yeah. I haven't tried that. And DSP there's a beat switch in the beat. Yeah. Yeah, so Kendrick, you're on the clock. You better respond. Otherwise, this will be a chink in your legacy. The same Drake has one chink. I was telling you yesterday, I don't think that he's on the clock, really. He's on the clock? I don't think he's really I, on the clock, bro. I, I know your, your argument was like, of course, like that is still number one. So why should he drop another another nini? And Drake hasn't dropped. Uh, okay, he has dropped it. Push-ups. But he hasn't dropped. And, and to be fair, <laughs> like... To be fair... That was the point Drake was making. Man, like, first leave all this industry business of our yeah, like, this is beef. bro, you're in a feud. You're in a, you respond, respond. Like, you won't use that as an excuse. Of, I'm still number one. Why would I drop now, right now? Yeah. No, bro, this guy is calling you out using your legends. Drake is baiting. Me. It's like someone trying to like bait me, and they bring out banner voice AI. They're like, yo, bro, what up? What up? Go buddy? get this guy, guy man. What? Go okay. get this guy. Oh. Like, I'll what are you waiting one. for? Go get this. I'll be like, that's a, that's so and you say for me, that, that I don't think anyone has <coughs> ever, maybe it has <laughs> never been possible for someone to do that. Because I think that in the past, like Eminem would do voices in the past on his songs where he's like pretending to be mm. someone else. Mm. 50 Cent also did some, would do some shit like that. But like, now because of AI, this guy could literally mimic the voice and write a verse. And perform yeah. it yeah. again. Like that's the truth. I, st- I stand on the opposite end, bro. I don't think Kendrick is on the clock, in my opinion. Mm. You can respond next year. Ah, ah, let me finish. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and again, maybe maybe you said because it's it's imp- it has never been possible. But if Drake had done all that just without AI, like it's just Drake. It's him. Then they would be like, okay, okay, Kendrick, you're on the clock, bro. Because this guy has decided to, to, to be Drake, has decided to call you out on his own. But again, maybe I just don't know enough about hip hop and AI. Because I'm just like, but it's an AI. But it's, 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 it's Drake on the AI. Yeah, but it's AI, bro. And, and it's Drake that, rapping. And the, and the song wouldn't have made sense if Drake was rapping that Tupac verse or if he rapped that Snoop Dogg verse. Because it's like he's putting himself in West Coast legend shoes and it calling out this guy. It wouldn't have made like, sense. It would like... That's it it would definitely... Cool way to use AI. I would it would have definitely never, not be... ever seen it yeah. coming, ever. And for me, what I would say is more than it being Busimanyo of uh, Kendrick is on the clock. For me, it's just like, bro, the music landscape is changing. And that's Kawa. Mm-mm, Kendrick is on the clock. He has to respond, bro. He started this nonsense <coughs> last week. He's on week. the clock in your opinion. Me, in my opinion, he isn't. No, <laughs> the guy has <laughs> dropped one, this track, this guy has okay. dropped two. No, even if the guy is on the clock, it's not, it's not a short clock. It's not, it's little, not bro. It's not some short, bro, if you don't drop this week. Yeah. We've, we've, seen beef, like we've seen beef where it's like that. Because has taken it like 24 that. hours he or else. If he drops next year or next, like, Quarter. It's it's not that he has to realize strike you back. Realize Drake gave him three weeks, and in those weeks he dropped two jams. No, he yeah. dropped the first jam last week and the second jam last week. He dropped two jams. Uh, a, week in a week apart. Third week. A week apart. Not a week apart. The first one was a leak. No, the the first one. Okay, he dropped the second one. Taylor made on the same day that 
the previous one was Stream weekend was like um not dropped but approved for streaming platforms so he is like giving him like one week then another week then and you know what i mean when did um when did when did we still don't trust you bro that's a good question like maybe like two weeks after the first album bro that like that shit bro so he dropped push ups the week after we still don't trust you bro the week of like a thursday or tuesday somewhere there and then this one that week after two jams bro Bro, I won't I won't hold you mean my opinion. Again, as I said, men might be ignorant. But I don't think I, first of all I don't even think it's a stain on his legacy. It's Kendrick. That's my opinion. I don't think it's a stain of it's guys who it's a get, stain, bro. Again, it's my opinion. <laughs> I don't think stain. guys will be like it's only a stain because he's like supposed to be like the boogie rap man. boogie man. Go yeah. do you, but he's that, supposed does to it, be the does rap it take away from go do what you do. Yeah? Does it take away from his legacy? Yeah, in your yeah, opinion. Yeah. It does, it's bro. It's the beef to Drake. He, one thousand percent. No, 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 remember, no. Remember there's Drake's losing legacy. beef. Drake's legacy yeah. was, losing was tainted by losing. If he doesn't reply, then reply. Is that, is that him losing? Course, That's a loss. Wait, then, then the if is not replying. Then I, I don't know enough, bro. Remember, even I'm, Drake, I'm the wrong, I'm the wrong person to ask. Drake, bro, Drake, Drake's understand. only L on his career Clearly. is that push and teach us. Don't understand. Jaco, one bar was directed at Jaco, and he responded. He responded and recanted. Mm-hmm. That has left a stain on that nigga's career, bro. Mm-hmm. That guy. Now, if this guy does not respond, bro, uh-huh. LL call. The, the conclusion is, I don't know enough, man. LL I don't know enough. I don't know enough. Any man. Um, <coughs> yeah, but just on the J Cole point, though, I'm just becoming gladder and gladder that he that he backed out of this thing. I think I don't know what I don't know what shape this thing would have now if J Cole if he was still in it. But yo, this whole thing has I exposed. feel like it looks very different if J. Cole is still in this thing. And not in an entertaining way. But to be fair, wasn't you on We Still Don't Trust? Now, do you know what's mad? Drake? Is me, in my in opinion, it's more of a stain on Kendrick if J. Cole hadn't recant. Rather than him not replying to Drake. What That's my mean? opinion. I think J. Cole recanting the thing. is a plus for Kendrick. I feel like... I feel like yeah, uh, what I'm saying... That, that's exactly what I'm mm. saying. Yeah? Actually, I think J. Cole and really needs Drake to win. And <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. Win. If if it really if, looks like you run away for a reason. If J Cole doesn't, <laughs> if J Cole doesn't, and uh, Ken, if J Cole doesn't recant and Kendrick doesn't reply, then in my head I'm like, okay, this is a stain. But again, maybe I'm taking into consideration Kendrick and what he does, bro. Because this guy will reply after five years and address it. You get but for I'll him, he drops this. when but he wants. That's trash, man. Like do you know this is this is really like a make or break beef because uh, if Drake wins in this twenty versus one situation, mm. no one will ever be able to say anything to that guy ever. Like this is like Messi and Ronaldo in a World Cup. Bro. That's what this is. Like one is going, one yeah. is staying. I I that level. It's very similar. It's very similar to Messi versus versus Ronaldo because the world wants Messi to win. It. So everyone wants Kendrick to win this beef, bro. Mm. But if Ronaldo wins it, that's a last <laughs> catch. He just he he score last goal like this. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, again, it'll be crazy. I don't know enough. Literally, that no snapping. I I don't know enough. I don't know enough. And me like, cause yeah. the thing is, I love both guys. So whoever comes out on top, huh, where are these guys coming but from, bro? All these 20 guys. I saw even Kanye West put his hat in the ring. He has a diss track. And he was talking on an interview about how he was so excited to be in the studio with all these other guys. Over Pluto hit him up. Pluto being future. Hit him up over. To come to the studio and they're all excited to take down Drake. To take down. I'm like, yeah, I think it's... I think that... Grown men. I think that dude there has had like... This is, it's just an MV thing, I feel like. Just because like the rules of this music show... Be nice. The rules of this music should have changed completely for that guy, bro. Everything has changed for him. And I feel like there's other people who feel that they're deserving of that. Of that change. Eh? And they haven't gotten it. So all the guys who are in that room, bro. You told me over Kanye West. But you also told me Draco Kendrick Lamar. Apps. You told me over... Draco by They apps all feel sometimes. like, bro, <laughs> I also have like that juice to be able to get these types of deals. But they but don't. Here's the thing. He's the, the, thing. He's the, the only one guy who has that The main deal. reason that's why I said the music landscape is changing is because... Right now, it's way more commercial than it used to be. And Drake is the king of that, bro. Commercializing music 
and his person, he's the king of that. But let's be fair. Let's mm-hmm. be fair. All these guys are in the business of commercial music. On making Drake's scale? Of, no. co- of course, Drake is the <laughs> one who, who, who does it the best, but yeah. they're all in the same game. Again. None of those guys my point some being, old jazz. My point being, he's the king. He's the How king. many guys will you find with... Um, you know, a contract with as many companies as Drake does. You know, you probably Kanye when he was before he never. did his things, but never. Drake, oh, bro, bro, guy has sports companies. Understand. This has never ever happened before. The type of deal that that guy has, yeah, it's, it's Drake, it's not bro. A, it's not a real <laughs> deal, bro. <laughs> it's not normal. He it's has, not normal. His deal goes all around, bro, to all the DSPs, to everything, bro. Mm. It's just not that guy is different, bro. And I don't think guys like. Different. I mean, I think that's what they don't like. I don't like guys I, like that. That's what they like. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. the reason of that. Exactly. Because man, Drake is okay. Yes, Drake has this thing of like that. We know Drake's issues are like he. If you piss him off, he, he goes and like hits up petty. your girl. He'll, he'll He's give her tickets petty, to the man. show. But like this stuff of like Drake causing like real beef, like shooting a guy or like Drake. Drake is never in that, bro. And I like. Why I can't even hold that girl thing to Drake is because I'm sure and all these other rap guys Who in their worlds, eh, they do that to all the guys below them. Like, please me if I take your babe, like you know. But it's just that Drake is Anuka who does that to to other celebs. You know what I mean? He's not doing it to no more guys. That's that. So I feel like there's that car and because that car bitterness, bro. That exactly shows who he is right now in the music industry. That guy is different. I also never get this shit twisted. <laughs> I know as we're thinking it's like um, the issues like something deep and big and macro, but sometimes it's actually really simple. Yeah. Com- com- it's it's sometimes competition. it's just really just some ego shit. It's, it's, it's probably after it's it's you say big me, Someone Drake is just like, okay, relax. Like guys were saying in future, it's probably just a chick. Kanye West is saying just a chick. Okay, well, we're still on Drake and there's also Chris Brown Quavo. That's a whole mm. other one. Get <laughs> 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 better take off. Was that so. AI? Or was it just an old vast take off at written? I don't know. Uh, th- this is a drop yesterday, the other day before I started. I, I knew this. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not Quavo, sure about Quavo, that actually. He has with a takeoff verse on it. Takeoff oh. is the RIP one, right? Yeah. I do. I had. Uh, no takeoff. Offset. No takeoff. Takeoff. No, I think other guys must have done that. The version that I've had is just Chris Brown. Now. No, 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 yeah. not Chris Brown. Quavo. Put out Quavo, a, a yeah. song with Offset. With off, you know, with takeoff, the RIP one. Takeoff. I don't know. I've not yet had that Chris one. Bro. I won't lie. Are you seeing that? Or are you seeing the AI shit at all? But that one, I wonder. Is it AI or did they have an old verse it from this guy? Yeah, because how I think was take off just this in Chris Brown. Maybe I was dissing someone else. <laughs> <laughs> just <That's laughs> nah, that must be AI. It's kind of nasty work, to my opinion. Dissing someone else and using your brother's voice, bro. Mm. Mm. Especially on AI. Yeah, that's, uh, that's somewhat. That's somehow, bro. That's, uh, I, for him, I think it was a verse. I think it was an old verse of this guy. Well, but what would take off be this in Chris Brown? I don't think it was necessarily Chris Brown is like in the first takeoff is just like dissing some guy, dissing a, a but guy. But still, if, even if he's not dissing Chris Brown, using it like Quavo using it. First of all, even if takeoff is dissing another guy, but it's just ill mannered in my head. I mean, takeoff can't yeah. use it anymore. Man. I don't know, maybe. maybe. Yeah, but takeoff it's, it's might as well hear the verse, and everyone's going to oh. listen to the song. Let's hear the verse on a random thing, and we assume <laughs> the spirit of Machiavelli is alive. <laughs> <laughs> and the brother under five foot five, so it gotta be you. Uh, yeah, bro. Hardest, hardest, hardest six, diss track I've had in a while. Bro. Should we go to uh, some questions? Uh, yeah, do you, do you, and what's your, what was your topic? I forgot. Uh, just, just good Let's questions. do these questions, man. We've had a bunch of questions backlogged. <laughs> um, that we've been meaning to do, man. So the rest of this pod is just going to be a, a mobster Q and A. Um, for all the guys who keep saying that we don't answer their questions, today we're going to answer everyone's question. Yeah, so make sure we answer your question. If we didn't answer your question, comment down below that. If you didn't answer my question, then post a question in the comments. <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to it next I episode. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, Maria. Aye. Okay, who amongst you guys is most likely to ask for advice and never take it? <laughs> the guy reading it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even a question. <laughs> this is a statement. <laughs> <way>. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the second most likely. Easily. Ask for advice and not take it? Yeah. No, nah, I think it's just you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> <laughs> ask for advice. Yeah, I feel like I feel I think it's up just on this you. one. That's for, that's for sure you. Mm. Okay. You guys don't talk about TV shows and anime anymore. Are you sure um, about that? Mm, 
Mm. You're lying. Certainly do, bro. Sure yeah. about that, bro. Speaking of, I just watched. Uh, I just started to watch Rebel Moon. I Which never part? watched it. Oh my good lord! Bro. Which part? The first one. Mm. Good. Eh? Oh my lord, bro. You liked so it? Sick, eh? bro. It's so sick. The first movie looks too sick. I've not yet finished it. Should I check it out? Yeah, yeah it is. It's Zack sure. Snyder, bro. Sure. Hey, you check it, it out. So sick. Yeah. I don't know, bro. But all the reviews I've been reading on it are like I did. I did. I did not enjoy Rebel. Mm. But again, reviews can can what? Can You're wrong. Yeah, they, mm. No, they can bias you. Facts. Yeah. Facts. That's so that's, that's that's facts. I'm like a good like maybe forty minutes in. Mm. I've enjoyed everything so far. I, I didn't know. enjoy either part, man. Like, like it's it's okay <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> halfway, bro. <laughs> me Mandalorian try. <laughs> Did you guys try like so watching Mandalorian? Yeah? I never watched I Mandalorian. The, the Mandalorian, the first two seasons yeah. were cold. It's kind of like Mandalorian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, how do you tell a oh, bro? Oh, I finished. Uh, not finished. I um, what's the word? I don't know. Shogun, Shogun, and oh, that Shogun. Shogun. Depending on where you're from, it Shogun. You have it. Shogun. Ah, cool, 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 have you watched? Um, cool, 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 what's cool. it called? I think it's called like Kingdom, Kingdom, Kingdom. Kampal? No, I've never watched Kingdom. That's one of the animals. <laughs> they're, they're zombies, <laughs> but South Korea, but like no. old like days in South Korea. No. Yeah, you should check that out. Zombies, yeah, in the old days, but yeah, old days of South Korea with like swords and stuff, but like zombies. How did they get to be zombies? Okay, in a small spoiler, but it's in the beginning of the episode. Mm. The emperor of the whole land was the first guy to get it. It's like a virus, yeah, it's like a virus, a zombie virus. And then mm. he, he passed, and but they because he's the emperor, no, not to say he had passed, mm. so he was still like doing his things. <laughs> But guys are like, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. <laughs> like, you see him, did you see him? He's just angry. <laughs> <laughs> so one day they send him a juice or something, and the guy bites the chick who gives him that juice. Oh, From there, the show begins, bro. Ancient Korea. Ancient Korea of Emperor and Swords. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no, but I'll tell you, I've never watched a show that's not shonen, which is like that era, and it's not entertaining, bro. All yeah. of them are. The yeah, whole concept is kind of similar to Tomb Raider. Which one? Which one? That thing of an emperor who who like, who like had a virus which was affecting everyone. Mm. Isn't that the Lost Ark? Mm-hmm. Tomb Have you Raider. watched um, Relic Hunter? Sorry, two times. Every time someone says Tomb Raider, I remember Relic Hunter. No, what's Relic Hunter? Just to be on TV Africa. Eh. No, no, no. Just to be on Mnet. Eh. Relic Hunter. Ah, never mind. I didn't watch M- M- Mnet as a then. kid. I also started watching. <laughs> basically like Tomb Raider. I started watching some show called Marvel's Hit Monkey. Hit Monkey? I think Hit I saw monkey, that. Yeah. The other guy's body entered the monkey and the monkey entered the no. monkey came back to life. That's what you can think it's about, right? When you see like a, like maybe a poster or some shit. The monkey in a suit. Yes, but it's w- not a guy. G- it's like the assassin dies and enters the monkey, no? No, he dies. Then the monkey it. kills, kills, starts killing He doesn't enter it. He's just like, he moves with it. But it's an actual monkey. Mm. Well, the assassin is the monkey. That I remember, no, the cold. guy died like. and the monkey can see him, but... Yeah, yeah, the monkey can see him and understand I think I watched like the first few episodes of that. I'm trying to understand this, like, entering its body. No, no, no. no. The monkey is there, but the monkey can see him. But no one else can see him. Mm. But the monkey can see him, so the monkey tells... He tells the monkey what to do. Oh. Like, punch. Speaking Speaking pick that up, pick that up. I watched pick up a monkey, gun. man. Monkey in the cinema. It's quite sick. Monkey Man. Monkey Man is just an Indian Have you watched week, it? Bro. Yeah. It's out. Yeah, it's <laughs> in the Dave cinema. Patel. It's in the watch that. In that John thing week. is crazy. That's what I love. It's <laughs> literally John, John week, week, but Indian. Violent. Mm. <laughs> Punjabi. It's Still on Monkeys. Violent, Have you guys watched bro. the new Empire? Empire? Godzilla, yeah, Godzilla. vs. Kong. I did, I did, I did, I did. I did. It felt like Cookie oh, Lion. Yeah, yeah, that was like that. <laughs> 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 this is when you talk about that in this court. I did. How do you there are too many bro? monkey movies nowadays because even Planet of the Apes, the new one is coming yeah. out. Mm, but the graphics still kind of work. I can't even come. How do you tell a bro or your girl that they're gaining weight? That they what? They're gaining weight. You're gaining weight. <laughs> <laughs> like that, eh? I don't know, man. It's not my place to jazz. Tell me, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it depends on how close you are. <sighs> yeah, but what is, what's there to gain? Yeah, like that? you, what, what, why, 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 why are you jazzy? I don't know if there's anything to gain on that. Yeah. Nothing to judge. I think you keep that to yourself, man. 
until they bring it up. Like yeah, man. By the way, man. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, it's always someone. <laughs> I think it's always someone from outside who sees you grow, gaining weight because it's kind of hard for you to tell that you're actually gaining weight. Yeah, but why are you telling? That's the thing. That Unless when it's like yeah, yeah, me that one is my mom. My mom is just going to give it to you. Mm. Just go for a family nice meeting. Way. Yeah, mm. unless they want to be gaining. Equi, equi, Let me tell you, like, like, man, you my mom will tell you you're gaining weight. You're going to get blood pressure. What she'll give you everything, bro. Yeah, that's that's to be a parent. Because <laughs> your cheeks are swelling. Um, would you guys be as close if you didn't do that? Port? First, relax. When I said I was going to GBS store, my mom said, "Thank God." I did not to feel, it? bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Um, <laughs> But I just went, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can't change your mind. You already dressed up. You're like, you're on your way, bro. Would you guys be as close if you didn't do the pod? Uh, I don't think so, man. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I don't so, so, man. Yeah. Yeah. Way, way, too much much pod, yeah, like. way too much time together. I'd also like, have like a good like Three four hours of jazz weekly, yeah, like yeah, solid yeah. three or four hours. I think it's yeah. way more than four, bro. It's it's like six yeah. hours of yeah, jazz like an hour before we start, yeah. an hour after we finish. <laughs> yeah. Two hours during. Yeah, those are like like high school friendship numbers, bro. Like four hours of jazz a week. That's true, man. <coughs> I was just um, listening to some pod where they were saying that like when we hit twenty one, we just stop seeing our bad days, bro. Because I start from America, but like at 21 on average is when guys, the time that you spend with your buddies dips dramatically, bro, and then like flattens out at like a super low level, man. So I can agree. There's yeah. no, I can see it. No longer in school I can see together. it. Yeah. Any excuse to see your buddies? I don't know man. if it's 21 here, but I can see it is close, mm. like 23 mm. after university. Mm. Yeah. But I think also getting a, a girlfriend at that age, it's one of the factors. But you can get a girlfriend in high school. But you can get a girlfriend and still have bad days. And on average, most of the guys be have getting girlfriends. Like serious relationships, they yeah. may kind of I start at 21. That, I don't agree yeah. with that, man. Okay, they, but let me ask you. They I don't take their girlfriend, girlfriend as their main friend. I think it's more like that's when you finish school. So like, you're no longer with your friends from school, so you're not in the real work world. So you don't have time to like link with your but friends. But I also need to understand this. Why? Okay, you know there's that thing guys say, like when you get a girlfriend, now you're not seeing your boys. I think it's when you get a job. Bro. Yeah, it's a job, bro. It's not a girl. Yeah, it's not a girlfriend. <laughs> it's more like bro. It might feel like it's even like leaving school because you no longer have like mm. a reason to meet every other day. Damn. Yeah, sad, kind of sad. Oh, damn. And they will know when we get girlfriends. So. This is a confession. Good point. Good <laughs> point. <laughs> Way to bring it home. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out when we have girlfriends. Yeah, this, uh, this confession says I ate his ass out. Good work. It's actually really deep. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Red eye get red eye, man. What's the medical term for red eye? It's like... Not cosidiosis. That's it. <laughs> Conjunctivitis. Cosidiosis. <laughs> That's the chicken eye disease. You're a rabbit, bro. <laughs> It's what again? Conjunctivitis. 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 Yeah, just make sure Then you get no conjunctivitis. conjunctivitis Keep your eye away from. That word is mouth. Oh, yeah, bro. Like eat and wash. Close your eyes yeah, like you do yeah. that. Wear shades. Wear goggles. Swimming goggles. Yeah. Um, you'll see clearly. Uh, that's, a f- that's a wild uh, confession. Right? Yeah. Is it wild though? Okay. Nah, For whoever confessed this, confess next time. Tell us. Do you have a date again or not? Like. For the rest oh, of so the first friends. time is to discover. Yeah, because if she's confessing, that means it's like in her brain is like freaky. Mm. Yeah. I don't know why we think this is a girl. I'm just assuming because the, the the pronoun used Fair. is peace. <laughs> Guys, yeah. you can never know, bro. Actually, I didn't understand I. anything. <laughs> you don't understand. I didn't understand that. Like, I ate his ass out. Yeah. yeah. Can you guys try to elaborate a bit? Hey, yo. Let, let, let me just put it like this: the mouth is for eating. Mm. Okuria. So, what have you eaten? For eating food. Mm. It's for eating food only. Yeah. According to for our nutrition. His excellence. That's what the mouth is for. Yeah. So this person used it for something else. Okay. Yeah. It's a malnutritious. Would you? Thing. Hell no. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Okay. 
Do you think that the Why are you smiling? You <laughs> <have>. <laughs> As we can't say too much, bro. That's why I'm calm. I can't let you watch the show and me. <laughs> hey, do, uh, do you guys think that the easy access to food delivery in Kampala has negatively impacted our eating habits? <laughs> this sounds like rich. a debate, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is such, such a middle class ass question. No, this is like high class, bro. Upper, 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 upper class, bro. Yes, bro. Easy access How do you mean that you're eating so much where? global with changing ah. eating habits? So like This guy is joking. <laughs> <laughs> with us impacted. <laughs> negatively <laughs> impacted. Negatively. Yeah, actually negatively. Shut like, up. I, I can't see why they're asking, but like, no, man. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you guys think? Because I think that this is a very like demographic specific mm. issue, bro. You mm. know, like when a particular demo thinks there's a problem that's happening in the country. You are you over yeah, like, guys be saying, man, there are too many cars. <laughs> 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 too many. That's very demo specific. <laughs> many V8, man. So that, yeah. <laughs> you have to be in Kampala or Wakiso. Yeah. Let's start from there. Yeah, oh, 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 Akesha Mall is always full. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a very like, that's very demo specific, man. Okay, I'll but I'll okay, answer the question. I'll answer it like this. Me actually do not understand how it has negatively impacted at all. I can't see why. I have an I idea. I can see why. Okay, you guys, you guys, judge. you know, like when you have options to get food at any time, you leave uh, you leave out the part where you have to first plan. You know, like in the morning you have to wake up and then you're like, where am I going to get the lunch and all that? But knowing that it's just a call away or like. Okay, let me and order right away. I don't know, man. Right right even like when someone says they don't know where their food is coming from, they don't mean that I don't know if it's coming from Global Java's. <laughs> it means like they don't know, like, they have no, <laughs> like, like you know, tell me, like, the money. yeah, <laughs> let me stop you right there. So okay. it's not, it's not, like, it's not like, 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 it's not 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 like, it's it coming from? it's not like, it's not like, it's not I don't know. That's not what they mean, bro. It's a paradox of choice. Of choice, yeah, like, like, you have too much choice. You get like, decision fight. That's what I'm saying. Maybe like this person oh. just orders a lot of food, but like me personally, there's always that price barrier on ordering food. Like I cannot order. What's your maximum? Three times a day. No, no, no. What's your maximum for a particular order? Usually, like I try and get it below twenty k if I can before delivery. Before delivery. What's that, brother? So like it costs. It is like so that means like twenty k, and then delivery is everything on top. Like uh, my delivery mm. is twenty k. That's okay, like what's below twenty k though. Okay, what, what's twenty yes, k? But there's a bunch of stuff. How much time do you have? Give me two things, bro. Okay, wingman sticky. There's uh, uh you girl strummers from Meza and Nini. You oh, got Rolex, 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 Rolex yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. There is. Yeah. There is. I don't know. I must stand up. Twenty-five, man. bro. Twenty-five is your, your number. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, maybe let me think. If if okay, it would negative. If uh, in me, how to negatively affect my eating habits? Maybe is that sometimes I don't want to eat home food, and it's there. Then I eat. How is that negative, bro? <laughs> That's just a choice. Yeah, I can give you a negative <laughs> you one that's have a choice about Maybe it's negative um, overcooked, the home food. There was a period where at a particular time during the day, 3.30 p.m., I want to eat. And I would always order. So even if I've eaten and that time reaches, I still want to order. But I have to like stop myself. Like so it can be negative. Yeah, it's like a habit. Come again. It's like yeah. a kiddo. You know kiddos when they are having money, they would like to eat every time. <laughs> Even after lunch, they would still want to eat I think something. You guys are privileged. You guys just know. called me I'm immature. <laughs> In this room. You guys are privileged. It's not privilege. It's, <laughs> it's negatively <laughs> impacted our eating habits. <laughs> yeah, That's I don't crazy. know. I don't think I don't think I did that much for it to affect me. That's crazy. Okay, yeah. Apple Music or Spotify okay, okay, wait, 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 Maybe just one thing. I think that most of the like food that you can order as takeout it's just bad food. Yeah, it's b- so maybe most of it. Negative. Most of it. To be fair. I wouldn't agree. I think the food that you want to eat, you maybe if you want to junk food, you go to the me. the few junk food places Where? we have. But those are places are like local food, man. There are two Nigeria. where you stay. Two places with local food, and they're closed half the week, bro. When you're there, you schedule for Monday, and it's but like Thursday, like, bro. They have the issue of like you have to order it at lunch time. Mm. Don't order it at lunch time. Tricky to have you ever eaten stale genos? That's hey. what like. <laughs> yeah. A paste. Mm, there's a way they are. You scoop them with a spoon I'm and they stay in the spoon, bro. Mm. Mm. Anyway. It's like slimy or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's like a liquid leaking. But you guys oh. are such chap, 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 chap. 
Apple Music or Spotify <coughs> and why? I'm thinking about making a switch, but I'm gathering options. Yeah, is exactly it Apple which comes with free Apple TV? <laughs> <laughs> Are we <No>. bees? <laughs> Free Apple TV. No. Apple music. That's Apple One, but it's a separate price. Apple Are we bees? Yeah. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, Spotify, why? Tidal. My answer is always Tidal. Tidal, eh? Tidal, Tidal, Spotify, Tidal, Spotify. Bro. No, 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 Spotify. I was jazzing. Spotify, Spotify, Spotify Tidal. Yeah. yeah. If you are on gunpoint and told to kiss either your sister, brother, or best friend, who would I pick? Easy. I have like five best friends. I can pick one. Did they specify the gender? Best friend. Hmm. Did they best specify friend, the best, best friend. friend's gender? That then, Matt. Oh, no. <laughs> I have enough. I have enough like girl best friends. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to kiss, bro. You I play. feel like it's something I'd lose if I showed my siblings that much affection, even at gunpoint. Something in me would die. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, all though. <laughs> what was the third option? <laughs> sibling, best, best friend, friend, and what? <laughs> best friend. Only those best two. Friend and who? And or one sister, of your siblings. Sib- sister, friend. brother, or best friend? Or what if what if it was gone? Put you have kissed one of the guys on this podcast. <laughs> I don't know. You bro, just blow my brains out. Just just do it. I'll just hold the gun like this and tell him, bro. Just but you guys aim think, straight. I think like the devil <laughs> is in a detail. Like, how bro. like how are you kissing? Okay, like, are you kissing on this kid? podcast? <laughs> and why, bro? I just. Say, Show me my brains, bro. Rachel. Show me, show me, <laughs> show me what they look like. No, you know, you know, Rachel. Rachel. You know what would be so funny if, like, the guy who's being kissed is blindfolded. But for him, you'll never know. You'll never know who kissed you. So bro. they round us up. You'll never know who chose you. Guy. Yeah, amongst the four. So of you us. just kiss. You'll be the only guy who knows for you. You'll be the only one who knows who kissed you. Who you kissed? You be the only guy who knows, man. Shoot me, bro. Yeah, bro. You know. They be like, I, 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 I run my brain, race, bro. Man. Shoot you, why? You guys nah, think you can allow to be short? You're joking. Nah, but I kiss, bro. It's quick. At kiss. least I won't have to live with the, the bullet. You know. Just know if they ever blindfold one of you yeah, guys, I'm kiss guy. you, bro. Just a kiss <laughs> on the lip. Yeah. I'll t- actually tell the guy, man, like, shoot up like that <laughs> so that <laughs> you get as much brain as possible. I don't do <laughs> Like a fountain, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Just pause>. <laughs> 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 At an angle, bro. Go diagonal. Go diagonal. <laughs> Make a circle, bro. With them bullets. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I'm nah, not kiss, yeah. bro. I was joking because there's no, there's no actual gun here. But what kind of kiss? That's a question. Just a kiss. Just a like pecs. You eat every day, bro. Pause. No, relax. I'm like he's he's like <laughs> <a> gun. <laughs> this guy said you no gun. <laughs> is I'm crazy, is crazy, nasty, nasty boy, man. But my girlfriend wants to leave me because I don't allow her to give me head. Honestly, I hate head. Huh? What? Well, repeat? Mm. My girlfriend wants to leave me because I don't allow her to give me head. Honestly, I hate head. It's not even a confession, bro. It's a question. It's just <laughs> the guy put it under question, <laughs> man. He's asking us. <laughs> man, you should tell you, explain to your babe that to each his own. Some people, not everything is for everybody. No means no. She wants to leave him mm. because he doesn't allow. He's not, the, he he's not he comfortable with like her. It. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, people, like, couple problems are so diverse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's so you yeah. never, ever know the types of problems, guys. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not the worst of the problem, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You can't that's relate, yeah? Man, that's she should respect problem, your decisions. Bro. That's man. like the guy who was saying, man, I hate that we can just order food when we want. What do we get to listen to this food, bro? <laughs> guys are so like <laughs> <laughs> they're not in reality, bro. <laughs> guys are so far. Like this bro. guy, bro. Like, <laughs> like there's people who haven't even received a hug this year, bro. <laughs> This guy is like, bro, I, I don't want to hit. Oh, he's man. trying to suck me <laughs> off, man. Like, this nigga is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually. Yeah, you know what <laughs> I, I can't even help oh, you. Man. I can't even help you with that one, bro. Finally, join the Patreon. Feels good to be on the other side. That's the that's one I was telling you about. Oh, nice. Binge one. watching as I paint. Scones, scones, scones. I feel like guys who just join the Patreon fresh, they have so much to watch, bro. Like, actually, just be scrolling and just finding shit. So much stuff they haven't watched yeah. on the main, huh? Yeah, shout out to you, man. Thank you for joining. Please stay. And I think I know who this is. Yeah. Yeah. Painting. Uh, <laughs> I think he actually told me this on a call recently. Mm. We'll see you next. This is Thazo.
at your exhibition. Yeah. 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 Oh, nice, oh, nice, 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 nice. We'll see you. Mm. This one's a bit. Do you think democracy can work in Africa? Most countries here evolve to be ruled by kings in courts. Case in point here, Rwanda. Um, do you think democracy can work in Africa? Mm. Democracy, democracy. Democracy. Them all crazy. No, them all crazy. Them all them crazy. All crazy. <laughs> democracy, a demonstration of craze. That's Fali. What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Fela Fela Kuti. Kuti. What was his song? Um, it's a demonstration of craze. Democracy. This democracy we have. So for me, didn't believe it was possible. It felt like a democracy is a foreign system that has been imported on us and we are now at odds with it forever. Because it's a foreign system that has been forced upon us. So um, that was Felakuti's point of view. My point of view is this. I think democracy can work. I just think it's um, a bit... Um, it has to be adjusted a bit for Uganda. Uh, not Uganda, for Africa. Africa. And on top of that, we are still very new at it, man. So, of course, we have some things to work out. Um, I think saying that all democracies in Africa... Um, evolved to be ruled by a uh, quote and Kong like king is not true. I think that's for some countries. Others I have no problem exchanging politicians like in Kenya, like in uh, Ghana, for, some, for the most part Nigeria and a bunch of others. So I think democracy can work. I do not think the king thing is the best because one person having all the power is what s- some of us have but without it being a king, you know what I mean? So we, can't, we shouldn't just make him king. Um, yeah, I still think democracy is okay, it's possible. Do we need it? I don't know, but it's possible. It can work here. But then I have something to ask. So if, like, you're caught and you're, like, dealing, and then uh, you're sentenced and then you go to jail, and then after, like, a year or two, it becomes legalized, do they release you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to finish your sentence because you're, sh- <laughs> you're just in the past. But this is this is today's judge. Oh, you can appeal. Maybe you have yeah. to. <laughs> See, that thing is law can't law doesn't doesn't act retrospectively. It's not retroactive, as they say. But I feel like you can bargain if you go to life for selling weed, and next year the president comes and says weed. I feel like you can bargain for, for a reduced sentence, man. Like you can, I feel like you can, you can bargain and say, okay, let me out on like, uh, find me or something, mm. something like that. Because to be fair, you committed the crime when it was illegal. <coughs> mm. Yeah. You know why I asked? Because I felt like at that time when you were like sentenced, they had no research to know whether it's healthy or you know, they had no like, what should I even call it? But you were you still know? disobeying the law, and you knew it was illegal. It was a conscious decision to do something illegal. It was illegal at the time that you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. This sounds crazy. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Would you date your boy's female bestie? A wonderful question. A wonderful question. I think I would. You would, eh? Uh, your boy's female bestie. My yeah. guy's female bestie. <laughs> How bad is she? Very bad. <laughs> and I feel like if she's my boy's female bestie, the standard is so much higher for how bad she has to be. Because otherwise, I don't think that's a line I want to cross. Oh. Mm. Yeah. You better treat her right and marry her, brother. They don't <laughs> put a wage in your friendship, <laughs> man. Bestie. That's a tricky That's a tricky your boy's one. Your best. I wouldn't go there, man, if uh-uh. I didn't. If right. I wasn't like truly, truly pressed to go there. Let me have a female bestie. Even if you yeah, guys like are dating, better be for marriage, bro. Magic's female bestie. Mm. Eh. Like I'm dating is. Mm. That's correct. Like if your friend is friendly, like me as a the guy is just concerned. a friend. You better treat her right, bro. I should better treat you right what also. What? Your friend is like super friendly and he's always like befriending buddies. So you just have to be there waiting that's for him to like release the them. The buddy standard is super high if it's my guy's best friend. I can't it's date my it's guy's it's best friend, bro. I okay. can. No, my answer is yes. But the standard <laughs> is the standard is super high. Yeah, I don't know if I can. Uh-uh. Like I have to really think, bro. This girl is amazing. And me, I'm not like him. Like, I'm not on his, like, let's just be friendship. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> also, don't let my boy like secretly be in love with his best friend. Uh uh, that's not the discussion. Now the podcast right has now. ended. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the discussion. I'm just thinking the podcast will still yeah. end even if you fucked up without. Nah, that you might. <laughs> might it was still in, man. might put about that one. <laughs> <laughs> we just sit down, <laughs> conflict as resolution. As therapy, <laughs> man, about that one. We bring her as a guest. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I have a question. If you and your, sibli- if you and your significant other start living together mm. and you find out you can't <clears throat> cohabit, is it grounds for a breakup or do you go back to how things were before? What you reverse to... She moves out and then you see if she can <laughs> she's move back in again. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I think that that's the whole point of cohabitation before you get married. First of all, I feel like it's very dangerous. Also, cohabitation is not allowed in my household. <laughs> uh, cohabitation is dangerous. Why? Why? Why, bro? Why is it dangerous? Why are you starting even? To see how guys are when to they... To test the waters. To see mm. how she is when you live with her. Nah. For some white people. Not for me, Logic. bro. You think so? You're a bit white. Here they say it's marriage before you live together. Ah. Marriage. Ah, Come and tell ah. us. Ah. 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 You yeah. just, you <laughs> <laughs> Come and tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a problem with it because um, sometimes the problems in like relationships, like when you're finished, like when after after marriage, right? Well, after the wedding, start when you guys are you're living, living together, yeah. patterns or behaviors are incompatible. Then you guys start fighting about things that you could have figured out before. So, yeah. Yo, your voice is so nice. Bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, I pull that chair. Pull that chair. Bro, like, Ak- he's so crazy. Ska- 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 yeah. <laughs> Chick has just sung yeah, on the pod, man. bro. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I agree with her, man. I nah, agree nah, with nah, her. Nah, 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 it's nah, key, nah. man. I feel like you can't really never know who you're dating, bro, until you've lived with them. That's when you see the other strange shit, man. I think I would feel like if your like your relationship flash. is gonna end in two marriage, I feel like the last month you need to be living together. Month, month. Okay, like you, you need some time like living the, together. The wedding you can date call off that wedding, bro. Set. And a month to that date is when we live together. Uh, only I yeah. feel like let's I, just do it after. I do feel like at one point you need to be with that person before you like you make yourself stuck with that person forever. Honestly, me and Tim cohabitation. Me too. Yeah. It's so funny how like we're on complete polar opposites from our parents thinking on this one. Because mm. when they're like, no cohabiting I feel whatsoever. Like, I feel like for them, the way they see it is once you've made that choice to marry, you're dead. Deal with everything <laughs> that comes with it. Like you chose to marry this person, so you have to stick to your choice. Let and I, I'm you. with that. Girls. But now for us, we're like, bro. Let me gather a bit more data before I make I got this choice. Yes. I won't lie to you. I don't know if... Like, me, come over, stay for as long, but, like, living together. Mm. I need a year. You need, you need to live with her for a year. One year. One year. One year. Fair, bro. Fair, bro. Okay, guys, I feel like... The, the household is open, man. You have a key. Mm. Come whenever you want. I mean, I, I'm actually down to, like, get engaged to you and then you move. What if she's on with the place? <laughs> must be nicer than that. <laughs> you know what I mean. Sometimes our place is just too nice for you to be like nah. <laughs> like, you know like let me move. Nah, me sometimes our place is the too lights nice, on bro. the ceiling. Why? Yeah, and marriage is in human, the fridge. Man. Marriage is in the fridge. <laughs> well, you guys, <laughs> our, spray. our parents want this thing to be on a biblical standard because yeah. according to the Bible, it's like mm-hmm. marriage is about companionship, but about na- companionship. companionship. It's not about the lash or anything. <laughs> but you know, at this point, people have been like, for us, we don't want to marry a chick who's maybe like, she's barren or something. That's why we decide to maybe like, try to get her pregnant before you get stuck with her forever. You get So parents will <laughs> never... You're scaring. <laughs> what did they say? You said you want to get her pregnant. <laughs> yeah, because... Yeah, so that's you like, you don't get married to her or you don't marry her and then it turns out that she's barren. Understand? Or you get her pregnant so before look up you marry her, but you're sure that she can actually have. Uh-huh. You're a, you're a nasty. Yo. No, I'm, I'm not saying Ooh. that. I didn't know that's, a, that's what that's why guys did it. Is that why guys? Nah, did that's guys. that's why Windek thing? would do it. Not not me though. Guys, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <saying my ideas. laughs> Windek is a dumb. Oh man, I didn't see it. I didn't see it going there. But you can land your point. Wait, yeah. is that a thing? Land your point, no, land your point. I was just saying that our parents think that it's not about giving birth or anything it's just getting a companion <laughs> but now things are turning out to be like you have to get sure like you have to make sure that the person you're having is going to give you kids 
feel like you can this question this question I have give me question I've been just without you bro you can do that without making her pregnant like can find out if she yo you can just do a test man getting her pregnant why was it my way? It's very easy. easy. Mm. Nah. No, bro. I think that test is just easy. <laughs> no, bro. I'm pro guys doing like all the necessary tests before they get married. But like... Those tests are less than 200, Bob. Bro, getting her pregnant is... Do you know how crazy that is? <laughs> nah, just to find out if she can have kiddos. That's that windek logic, yeah. bro. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not my logic. I was just giving you an example, mm. another side mm. of this. Yo, thing. not it, not it, not it. I, now, wait, people actually doing this? It's yeah, bro, guys are doing it. Wait, this next question, I need the answer to. How do you approach a girl in a relationship? Okay, now whoever who are, <laughs> hmm? don't wait, do what? that, man. Nah, don't encourage relax. that type of behavior on the mob just podcast. <laughs> No. But it's now a relationship that's abusive and it's about to end what and you know this call the she's in a relationship <laughs> <laughs> you got call you go police, police. <laughs> yeah. okay okay that's okay, not okay. your business uh, it's not abusive like on, not on, on like police man. levels like police uh, like she's not happy you can but see she's emotionally abusive or something just like that i don't know but like she's just not happy that's not your goal i promise <laughs> it's not your goal so what are you going you're going to save her <laughs> You guys know my angle in this. Leave her alone. Leave her yeah, alone. Okay. No, no, really okay, you guys are saying that Mob just doesn't condone this, but guys, you meet this one chick. She's she looks like everything you've ever wanted from a chick. Mm. But she's, and she's dating. And she's with a guy. And you know you can it's like her. get her out of that relationship. You, you why? Why? Out how? You guys, okay, get out and take her away. You guys overestimate your power, man. <laughs> <laughs> and you take her away. You guys overestimate your power. Yes, you can power. get her out, but then, uh huh. What's First next? First of all, what bro? do you mean you know you can? Bro, I think nah. you can tell. Nah. 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 Now, nah. 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 just read this, bro. Guys, just beat, bro. Up, bro. Like, I'll be saying, 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 I'll be I would like to initiate it, huh? No, bro. And this, bro oh, just so release, bro. This is like a really dangerous situation where the police needs to get involved. Or her family. Fuck me, sometimes I might just ask her, but it's like, yo, why are you guys like... Mm, they call you. That's like her bad day's job. But now me. <laughs> ah. I don't think a chick like, can be like that much uh, of my type. That and let me tell you, if my babe tells me she's dirty... Ah, we are bad days now, bro. Nah. Bad days, days, never. Not In fact, uh, side hugs. Never Not again. Mm-hmm. But you've never been in that situation where you find the chick of your life, but she's dating. Not her date. You've never been in that she's situation. She's not the chick of my life anymore. If I can get That's her out of that relationship, I would. Eh? You remove her. If I, I can get her out of it. Yes. That's a windy weird. game. Almost no one can do that, bro. Oh. Get her out of the relationship. Bro, relationship stuff, you have to be selfish about this old stuff, bro. Okay. Guys have gold, but they don't value it, so... Need so to show him that, bro. This is gold, and I I'm need it. I'm good. Okay, I'm let me good. Ask. Thanks. If, 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 if you're dating and a guy comes and and, and and does what you're saying, how will you feel? You have like gold. You're treating her like silver. <laughs> you're going to kill that guy, bro. I don't know, bro, man. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, just just release, bro. Yeah, just man. Release, I just said just, just release, release, man. If your wife also, was 20, I'm not sure hmm? if you uh, don't be sure that you want to be that guy that comes after that. She might need some time. What's that saying in Luganda? You get them how you found them. Huh? You lose them how you... How how you, you, lose them you, go, you lose them how you got them. Huh? Yeah, it's like a saying like that, yeah. yeah. Like What's the actual saying in Luganda? I don't know. The direction just, the direction just one is where you found her mm-hmm. is where you'll find her. Something like that. Something like that. You are Muja. I don't know. Where you got her from? <laughs> go, and, go and check the... <laughs> So you got to how <laughs> you find <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's always like that. Um, oh, if your wife of 20 years and mother of three kids cheats on you, are you working? Okay? People make it seem easy on this podcast. We had a whole pod about this. About I feel like we made it seem easy. Yeah. No, I think you guys all said you're leaving and I'm the one who said I can't leave. No, nah, he said he's leaving. leaving. Yeah, I'm probably leaving well, he still. Leaving. Yeah, he said and he's leaving. You, then we, said we, we both said we're, we're, we're not leaving. Again? But to be fair, I've gotten so, three kids, but I've gotten some more perspective on that, bro. I don't <laughs> think I'm leaving, man. Mm. But 20 kids. years and three kids, I'm not leaving. What man. I said I'm not doing is raising another guy's kid, though. Up to now, I haven't yet oh, reached that yeah, maturity yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. That one I haven't yet reached. But three kids. 20 man. years and three kids. I don't know if I'm leaving, man. How about you having three kids and then you find out the first two are yours and then the last one is not yours? Would you leave that chick? 
Probably not. You're not leaving, eh? Bro, I don't think guys understand how hard it is to throw away a relationship that years. long. Bro. 20 years. 20 years is so crazy. Yeah, Tough. Like, that's seven years younger than me, bro. Like, it's <laughs> 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 the longest time. 20 years younger than me. Three kids. <laughs> nah, bro. It's okay. so hard to throw that away, man. Yeah, that, that one's a bit crazy. That I one's a bit crazy. I don't know. That's like, we need therapy or some shit. Mm. I also like, we're going to work uh, through it. There's bro. a phrase I had. It's like, and I know, don't don't quote me, or don't, don't throw this back at me in the future and I'm crying. But like, <laughs> if you, like, it basically goes like, leaving your relationship because someone cheated is like shifting houses because it rained in your area. Like, it rains everywhere. That's the point. So this is a very good house of 20 years and three kids, bro. Like that's that foundation is solid, solid, bro. Solid. Like the rain is not taking this house anywhere, bro. Yeah, we can make it. We can make it. Yeah, we, we can, can make it work. Yeah, we can, we make, can, it. We can yeah. make it work. One cheat in 20 years, relax. It's just a leakage. The one that you are aware yeah. of, though. Yeah, that's that's, that's what you're yeah, telling you. Yeah, this yeah. is like too <laughs> funny. This is too funny. My side thing is getting married. I know we said no feelings. But it's making me feel some time of way. Like I said, some time. <laughs> Laughing emoji type of way. I want to feel him, man. I feel, him, I feel him on that one, man. That one must hurt. That's so yeah. funny because, let me hurt. not lie to you. Bro, go on. It's probably go painful. Go to your thing. Go to your main <laughs> thing. And yeah, you need to understand that the human emotion. <laughs> 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 sad, bro, about the side thing moving. Yeah, he's coming home. He's kicking off his shoes very far. Like, playing a boy alone. <laughs> he's doing like this. So, so That's so funny, bro. <laughs> I can't talk to him. <laughs> on that day that your side thing is getting married, like, now your main thing wants to chill with you. Bro. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to see you today, <laughs> today of all days. <laughs> the love of my life. What, what's that? What's that, shit that James and Patrick said? The love of my life just died. <laughs> Have some compassion, man. That's what he told his wife. Yeah. My lord. <laughs> my chicken just died. <laughs> my lord. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. too funny, oh, bro. Man. That's well, guys, too funny. Guys, this is why guys don't guys like our opinions, opinions bro. bro. What part to you? But did, did he do it? Did he do it? Did he, as in? Uh, did he? Did he do it? Did he do it? Probably know. Didi. I don't know. Ask Didi. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. From my young age, I was always taught to give people their flowers. I just want to appreciate every one of you. I immensely enjoy each and each video that you post. You read the thing well, bro. No, I take this. Man, Why? I have issues with this displays of affection, bro. Like, uh, I cringe a bit. But thanks, thanks, thanks. I'm Thank 27 you, years old. <laughs> Thank, you, <bro>. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it, bro. And <laughs> from a young age, I was told to give my people their flowers. <laughs> They've given okay. you flowers. <laughs> give me some real flowers, bro. I'm 27 years old, and of recent, my friend's younger brother has decided to flirt with me. Younger. I honestly don't yeah. know what. Wait, to wait, do. wait, wait. First, repeat. I had zoned out. I had zoned out. First, <laughs> come back. Come back. Bring it back. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing this is a, a lady. I'm 27 years of age. And my friend's younger brother has decided to flirt with me. Sweating, laughing emoji. I honestly don't know what to do. What mm. would you guys advise? I'm half tempted to see how it unfolds mm, just for fun. I knew you were sweating, laughing emoji. That's what you said. But I told you I knew you were half tempted. I knew you were half tempted. I don't know, man. How young? No, also, how old is your friend? Your friend might be 40 and then the... I realize. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Sakido is a young, her younger brother's brother. And I don't know how young her younger brother is. Yeah. But the young brother may be 30 and the friend 24. is 24. Okay, we're well, imagining he's an adult man. Yeah, he's like 24. Yeah. Mm. This is similar to the best friend thing. Is it worth it? Yo. Be sure that it's worth it. Because clearly you want to kind of do it. Yeah, no. So if you want to do it, <laughs> just be sure that it's worth it, man. Yeah, your younger brother is not going anywhere. That relationship is solid. Like, <laughs> <laughs> who's younger, bro? Has. No, it's, uh, no, it's, it's her friend's, it's her friend's younger, younger brother, brother bro. that's flirting with her. Mm, I thought it was younger brother's friend. No. Wait, 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 wait. It's wait, her wait, friend's wait, younger wait. brother that's flirting with her. Yeah, it's, a, a, it's a, a tough one. one. That's yeah. tricky. It's a tough one. That is tricky. It may end up being labeled like a but also in the WhatsApp group. Oh. No, you are flirting with her. It's a grown man. friend, bro. How long can a relationship survive without Hold on, hold on. Before we leave the flirting. Oh, why are you rushing? Before we leave just, the just flirting. Just think of that one as you're, as you're answering this hold one. Hold on, before we leave the flirting thing. You ca- the guy can be flirting by himself. Mm. You know what I mean? Wisdom. So I think she's already kind of like engaging with it. <laughs> trying to see if she wants to take it somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, <laughs> flirting I say, on your own is crazy. I say do it, though. but just make sure that it's worth it. 
Yeah, yeah. I said do it as well, man. But also, why are they fun. causing problems? Why are you flirting with your siblings, friends, bro? And life needs that kind of spice, bro. Danger keeps things interesting okay, in the but friendship. Now, oh, but now that one I wouldn't do. Yeah, like even me, I wouldn't. One of my, my siblings, young, friends, uh, sisters. I don't think I'll do that one. For fun? Not even for fun. Mm. No, no, I don't think I would do. For fun. And if I did it, would be it would have to be worth it. Like for fun, I'm and going all the way. Like I'm on a wife farm. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going just. Uh, uh, I can't just frolic them. Is it for fun? No, 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 no. When people say the word frolic, I imagine guys just skipping, yeah, in, skipping grass, in flowers. Bro. For fun. In the <laughs> no, 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 no. no I'd say this, man. Your friends, younger bro, uh, they're going to name you like a pedo, bro, like predator in the group. You're going to be the discussion. Even if he's 26, it's still mm-hmm. kind of strange. <laughs> um, How long can a relationship survive without. Without um, eggs. How long can already one hour into the pod? Just say the word, bro. Without sex. Mm. How long can it survive? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, Christian yes, Muganda yes, boy. Uh, <laughs> long, I feel like. Lo- very long, bro. Yeah, long, I feel like. Yeah. No, my thoughts on my thoughts on the subject have changed a lot. Mm. I feel like if you both have like sexual discipline, it can last very can long. Can make it last for a while. It's easy. Yeah. A lot of guys wait, by the way. A lot of guys wait for marriage, man. Like, what you guys are talking like about, me. cohabiting. Mm. A lot of people wait for marriage. Man. Like me. So it's by the way, if you think about it, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not that hard, bro. Yeah. yeah, and guys be like kissing and dry humping, bro. So Even me, man. Guys make it work. <coughs> really virgin. Work so all the marriage relationships have actually worked without mm. that thing. Uh, dry humping is crazy for you, me, though. How about when the love language just comes in? Yeah, love, your love but language. But there's no love language that's called sex. Giving your gifts. love language is <laughs> physical touch, touch, touch. Yeah, but they can hold your hand, receiving they can hand you. Yeah. Words of affirmation. But if for you, you feel like it's sex, which is supposed to be that language. Yeah, there's nothing you in there like. about, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that game. Yeah. That <laughs> game. <laughs> the, beast, the beast of two back. But very long, very long. It can last very long. might have been the last I think that was the last question, bro. Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow. Yeah, that was the last question, man. Mm. A nice song is playing right now, sorry. <laughs> it's a good song. Um, listen, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you. The questions you guys sent today were spectacular questions. Except for that person who was showing too touch. much positive affirmation. Turn it down. You are the best one, in fact. Turn mm. it down. You are mm. the best one. Mm. Mm. I really appreciate You're on 11, we need you like on Jesse, a one. Jesse just has a problem with like receiving love. Or giving it. So now you know, turn it down, eh? <laughs> this the volume. Um, yeah, man. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, subscribe Africa to the... Africa must unite. Relax. Subscribe to the <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the YouTube. Peace. Africa must unite. <laughs> subscribe to Patreon. <laughs>